Hey guys, it's DC here and today I'm going to tell you what the best entry level certifications are to get into cybersecurity. I'm back in a uh, in a car. It's not my car, not yet, but I, I am picking up a new car in a couple of days, so that's pretty exciting. I haven't done a video in a car for ages, but um, yeah, anyway. So you're looking to get into cybersecurity and you're wondering what are the best certifications to do to get into cybersecurity. I know I've done this more or less in other videos, but I wanted to do this one to be really short and up to date on the, uh, the 2020 version of things. So if you don't want to watch the rest of this video, I'll tell you right away, the CompTIA Security Plus is the best certification to do to get into cybersecurity. It's probably the most asked question on my channel. In every single live stream, I get asked, what's the best certification to do? In Discord, people join up and ask, what's the best certification to do? The best certification is the Comp TIA Security Plus. Go and do it. Now, that is not really all you need to get into cybersecurity though, to be completely honest. It's just the best one out of the lot. What I would also recommend is doing a networking certification, either CompTIA's Network Plus or the CCNA 2020 version. The reason for that is because networking is such a massive part of cybersecurity. There are so many vulnerabilities in networks. There are so many things you can do with networking. It's um, it's like a, a playground of traffic for hackers and pen testers and security personnel of, of all walks to have to understand that networking is such a huge piece of it. You really do need to know what you're, you're looking at when you come across like packet tracing and even just like the basic fundamentals of networking. So definitely have a look at CompTIA's Network Plus or a CCNA. And if you're doing the CCNA, just the routing and switching one is fine. If you want to do the CCNA security, that's fine as well, but I'd probably just do routing and switching. The next thing to do is to learn Linux. Now you can either learn Linux by just using Linux, which is what most people do, or you can do a certification called the Linux Plus from CompTIA as well. I'm not sponsored by CompTIA, I just rate their certs pretty highly because it's likely to get you a job. Alternatives to doing the Linux Plus is to do uh, different Linux boxes on Hack the Box and tryhackme.com. There is uh, plenty of free information out there on how to learn Linux. So uh, yeah, go and have a look at those and yeah, basically check it out for yourself. If you subscribe to Try Hack Me, you, um, you can also boot a Kali Linux box directly from the site, which is pretty cool. It's not as good as having your own Kali machine, to be honest, but it's better than nothing. So yeah, have a look at that. Now, other things you should learn as well are Python and or PowerShell. I know PowerShell is going to cause a little bit of controversy here, but there is a reason for that, which is that you can do so much awesome AD uh, privilege escalation stuff with PowerShell. It's super useful. It's also good to know down the line if you end up getting like a job as a sysadmin or working in a SOC team where you can uh, do all sorts of different scripting tasks with PowerShell. The reason I say to learn Python is because it is the most commonly used language in cybersecurity. So definitely worth having a look at. And there's a bunch of courses that are great to learn it on Udemy. One that I always recommend is Christy Vlad's Python ethical hacking course. I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description to that if you wanna go check out his course. Now, apart from that, that's, uh, that's pretty much all you need to learn to get into cybersecurity. With those certs, you could potentially get a job, which is pretty cool. Although these days people are looking more towards uh, how much experience you have in other areas of IT before putting you into a cybersecurity role. I'll cover that in another video though. I just wanted to keep this one nice and short for you all. And uh, yeah, just get you, uh, I guess, excited about uh, learning these certifications. Now people with these certifications average around 80,000 US dollars, which is a, it's a pretty good wage to be honest. It's definitely worthwhile getting. Saying that though, a lot of people do have prior experience and were probably earning around 80,000 dollars before anyway. So they're more just moving across from another area of IT into cybersecurity. The thing is, once you get into cybersecurity and you go down the line a little bit, you've been working in a SOC team for, you know, one or two years, you move into like a level two or level three position, you're going to start earning over $100,000. The money goes up real quick and it's, it's definitely worth sticking around for. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my video for 2020 on how to get into cybersecurity, what certifications you need and basic knowledge that you need to, to do it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all on the next video. Catch you later.